So, when you go to the store, you want a quick and easy meal, you end up getting, say, like, uh, a pre-cooked chicken, uh, mashed potatoes and everything on the side, and you take it home. And what you do, what you're done, you end up with leftovers. So, what do you do with those leftovers? We're going to make a quick and easy meal this week. So, stick around. Hi there guys, my name is Rocky Red Panda, welcome to PND Studios, and we're going to be cooking this week, like we do every Friday, but things are a little bit differently, because I'm doing things more formal now. So we're going to be doing a cooking with leftovers. So you go to the store, you buy pre-cooked chicken, say the rotisserie chicken, you cut it up, you eat it, and you have the leftovers you put in the bag. So what do you do with it? Well, you can make a quick and simple, easy meal. Now, me being from part Asian, my dad's from Taiwan. I love all Asian food and Asian cooking, so we're making a quick and easy Asian street food dish that's delicious. It's very simple. The only ingredients that you're going to be needing is, of course, that chicken. And if you run out of chicken, you can always use the Purdue pre-cooked chicken. Soy sauce. You got your two eggs. Your vegetable, in this case, I went ahead and I used carrots. Um, you got your garlic, very simple and easy, and your noodles. And of course, in this case, I used uh, Asian-style noodles. Where is it? I got used Asian-style noodles, uh, rice noodles, that we're going to be using this week. So, stick around. Let's, let's get to cooking, folks. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the olive oil to the pan. A little jab will do you, not too much. But, you know, we can always use olive oil. Now we're going to grease it around, make sure it gets evenly coated there in the pan itself. Next, we're going to introduce the chicken that was left over from the night before. From a rotisserie chicken we got in the grocery store. It's already cut up. We're just going to go and add and introduce it to the pan, just like so. Now... Once it's introduced, if you have any big chunks, you can rip it apart. That's perfectly fine. And yes, my hands are clean. So make sure your hands are clean when handling chicken or no poultry. Wash your hands afterwards before touching other things. Now, in this case, there wasn't enough chicken um, it left over because we picked that uh, rotisserie chicken clean. So, in this case, I resorted to plan B, which is pre-cooked chicken here from Purdue. It's already grilled, it's already cooked. We're just going to go ahead and open this package. And we're now going to introduce this pre-cooked chicken into the mix here. Now, it already comes pre-packaged. I love it. It tastes great. So there's not a lot of cooking that has to be done to it. Now the chicken not much in it so I like to shake the bag to break it to little pieces because sometimes it get big and now we're gonna toss the chicken in just like so. Hell yeah. Now we have that huge mass of chicken there. It's now starting to cook. We're gonna go ahead and take our spatula. We're going to make an evening coat and of course again if there's any big pieces that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and break those big pieces up and we're now gonna go ahead and cook the chicken. does like to stick to the bottom so if it does stick to the bottom what you can do is you can always add a little bit more olive oil a little drizzle here a little dab will do you but you know the chicken will add some olive oil to kind of cook it up we're now gonna shake this around we're now gonna stir this chicken and we're gonna make sure everything's evenly coated there in the pan everything looks good now we're going to go ahead and introduce our vegetable now they usually use carrots, uh, broccoli, but I'm using carrots because I like my shredded carrots, not to have an addiction to shredded carrots or anything. Now I don't eat carrots raw, I always like them cooked. So we're now gonna mix the carrots in with the chicken to kind of give it this overall flavor and taste. Just like so. 
like so. Now the next step is we're going to go ahead, we're going to introduce the seasoning, which is garlic. Now they use real garlic. They chop it up and, go, bum, 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 and put real garlic in there if you'd like. However, if you don't have garlic on hand, you can go ahead and use the powdered kind, which will do perfectly fine, just like here. This is powdered garlic. We're now going to go ahead and introduce the powdered garlic to the chicken itself. Boom, 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 boom. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it, booty. <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and mix it all together. It's going to give this lovely flavor and aroma to the chicken once everything is mixed together, of course, with the carrots itself. Now we're just going to mix everything together evenly, and everything should look beautiful once it's done. Look browned. Now we're going to introduce the sauce. The one sauce, and this is soy sauce. Of course, this is Kiko Mint's soy sauce. So we're going to go ahead and introduce this to the chicken itself. A little dab here, a little dab there. Yummy. That absolutely looks delicious. Now we're going to stir the soy sauce in with the chicken, the garlic, and the carrots. We're going to give it a good stir because we want to have an evenly coat. And we want to soak in those juices. We want the chicken to soak in all of the flavor, the juices. It's going to be delicious once it's done. We're going to continue stirring it. I think that's good enough. So let's move on to the rice noodle. Now we got some pre-packaged rice noodle here. It's hard. So what we're gonna do with the vermicelli rice noodle is add some boiling water to it. And what the boiling water is going to do is essentially what you would do in a pot when you cook noodles. It's going to soften the noodles. So when we're ready for the noodles to add back to the dish, we can easily do that. So we're gonna evenly coat that. We're gonna let it soak. We're gonna let it get softened there while we continue on. So while the noodles are softening up, we're gonna add some more olive oil back to the pan, which are clean from the first time around. We're now gonna cook our eggs. So we beaded two eggs up, and we're gonna scramble these eggs. That's right, we're gonna scramble these eggs. Now, we're not gonna be using a spatula. We're actually gonna be scrambling them using a whisk. That's right, a whisk. Just like this. There you go. Now we're going to whisk our eggs together. And of course, you don't want to burn them, so the eggs are going to cook pretty quickly. And they're going to cook quite fast, so we're just going to keep whisking the eggs. We want to scramble these eggs. That's right. Now, of course, the, the whisk is safe to use with the, the pan itself. So, no worries. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Now in the case where you think you don't have enough egg in your pan, that's perfectly fine. So you can always introduce a third or fourth egg, which in this case, I'm gonna add one more egg to this. I'm gonna make it a three-egger, which is okay. I'm now gonna crash the egg, put it in there, Boom, reintroduce the egg, and let's continue on cooking with the whisk. So, we cooked the eggs, we reintroduced the chicken and the carrots, mixed it all together until you have this little hoss posh. It looks great, it looks nice, almost to a stir fry consistency. And now we're going to add the noodles to the frying pan with the mixture. I think they're softened enough. We have to drain the water. We're going to add two of these in. One. Two. Just like so. And then we're going to take the spatula. We're going to break them up. We're going to mix this together because we want this into a consistency. Almost of like a street food. Now, towards the end, you can add flavors, say like more soy sauce for flavor. We can add some basil, salt, pepper. You can season it however you like. Of course, I did add a little bit more soy sauce to the mixture at the end to give it more flavor. Now, 
This is easy to make, it's quick, it's doable, it was absolutely delicious. So let's keep on stirring. We're gonna mix this together until you almost get kind of like a fried rice or a stir fry look once it's done. And now I think it's time to plate. Of course now with the dish properly done, we can go ahead and we can plate it. Let's put this in the bowl, just like so. The mixtures, all the flavors. That's right, make sure you don't spill anything on this side. Just like so. And of course, if you spilled, that's an easy cleanup. Just clean up around. And there you got it, folks. That's what I like to do. We got yourself easy noodle dish. Just like so. Add just a few things. You know, stuff that you have here in your home. Delicious. Mm-mm. Boy, it sounds delicious. Kind of like a noodle stir fry. So, again, all the ingredients were Chinese noodles, two eggs, carrots, leftover chicken, soy sauce, and garlic. How about that, folks? Easy to make. Well, you guys enjoy. I'm going to go eat this. Rocky, signing out. Till next week. Good eats, guys.